So today we're going to show you a procedure where we perform an ingrown toenail and we kill the matrix uh, where the nail grows from so the nail will not return. You can see here I'm simply taking my blade and going down the side of the nail. This splits the nail border so we're able to remove that portion that's in growing. Here we are about to remove the nail border in total. That allows us to get the offending edge out of the side of the nail. And then we have to clean up this tissue along the nail border. This is inflammatory tissue that develops because of all the inflammation that happens with an ingrown toenail. The next step is to take a curette, which you can see I'm doing here. And this sort of awakes the cells, if you will, to accept the acid so that we're able to kill the matrix that the cells grow from. The next step here is to take a cotton tip applicator that has the acid uh, on it and place it along the matrix where the nail cells grow from. This will allow us to kill the cells so the ingrown toenail will not return. If you skip this step and simply just do an avulsion, then you're at a high risk of that ingrown toenail returning. Once the nails grow in a certain pattern, they tend to just continue to grow in that same pattern. So the nail could possibly re and grow and become inflamed again. This acid step is done three times, which ensures that we're able to kill those cells. Once the offending nail border is out, then usually that will stop all the inflammation and infection. And typically there's no need for any oral antibiotics after this procedure is performed. Once the three cotton tip applicators have been performed, we then take a uh, wound gel and apply it to the nail bed and place a big bulky dressing. This is to help prevent bleeding because the nail beds are quite vascular. The patient will remove this dressing later on that afternoon or in the evening, wash his toe good with soap and water, and then continue to apply the wound gel to the nail bed with a Band-Aid. He'll do this for about the next week or so, and then he'll just start to leave it open um, and let it heal. If it's draining quite a bit, he can soak his toe in Epsom salts, and this will help reduce the drainage. Thank you for watching our video today. If you think you have an issue with an ingrown toenail, Give us a call. We can get rid of it.